What's going on everybody? I'm Patrick from Powlax and in this video we're going to be discussing the Cuse motion offense. So the reason that I wanted to make this video is because I was watching the Duke vs. Hopkins game from the NCAA tournament last year and I thought that Duke was running Cuse because they were using the same initial motions that this is going to have. But they actually weren't. They were actually trying to attack in a very different way and so I'm going to make a separate video based on that. But this video will contain some live footage of how Duke was setting up the way they were attacking because they are the exact same thing. So the first thing we got to discuss when we are talking about the Q's offense is how our players are set up. So contrary to traditional motion offenses, we don't have a group of three and another group of three. We actually have a group of four and a group of two. So the four players are all of the midfielders and one attackman. So they're these four. The two players are just the other two attackmen. And so by simply redefining the groups, we are going to pull some players into areas of the field where they're not used to being, and the motions are a little more dynamic. Now to start the offense, we're gonna start in what's traditionally called a 3-1-2 or a 2-3-1 if you count from behind. And so some other people call this the umbrella set, but this is our basic set as we are going to start the offense. And now we're just gonna discuss the rules of the motion. It's very, very simple, but it uses movement from all players and great spacing in order to attack the defense. So the first rule we have is one of our high wings, one of these two players is going to be the initial dodger. And so as he dodges, he does have the ability to go down the alley or over the top, but in this example, we're just gonna have him come down the alley because that's where most of our live video comes from. The second rule we have is the crease player. The crease player is always going to mirror the dodger. And so as M3 dodges down the alley, A1 is going to mirror above him. If he did sweep across the top, A1 would float out to the right, but so he basically stays opposite the dodger. This puts the defense in a very precarious situation because odds are they're going to slide from the crease, which should leave this player open. The next rule is the top center player. His job is always to fade backside and to pretty much prepare for the second dodge in our set. Finally, we have M1 who's the backside and his job is to cut the middle. Now on his cut the middle, he needs to wait it out, see alleys. He doesn't just wanna dive in not knowing where he's going, he wants to watch his defender's head, see if he's watching the ball too much, and cut to good space. Next, we're gonna talk about the rules for our two attackmen down here, and it's basically very simple. Whoever's ball side is going to clear through and fish hook, or as our players like to call it, a candy cane, and the other player is going to fill to X to be the forward outlet. So the first thing we were looking for within this offense is to just completely isolate this dodger. And as we are clearing through with this attackman and mirroring with this attackman, if he comes down the alleyway, we should have a lot of space for the dodger to operate to try to turn the corner and score. Here are two videos of this offense working against our defense in a game two years ago. So we see they're set up in a 3-1-2, dodge coming down the alley, dodge down the alley, no slide, and he buries it. Next example, same basic thing. Now he's dodging down the righty alley, coming through, gets a nice shot off, misses Cage. If we do draw a slide, now what we want to do is we want to attack the backside, and that's going to work two separate ways. The first way is if he decides to roll back, move the ball up to the mirror, the mirror will then pass to the fade. This guy would have already cut through. Now this fade player can dodge as the second dodge and try to score there. In this video of the game we just watched, watch how our recovery didn't actually get out on him and he's left with a really good step down. So we see the dodge coming in from the right side. Good cut the middle mirror and fade. Throw back one, two, and now a step down, goal. The next way to attack if we draw a slide is to pass the ball forward. So as the ball comes forward, now we are left with two players inside and three players over the top. So if we wanna go with our usual tendency of dodging away from where the ball came from because all the defensemen should be huddled up here, now he is going to dodge to his left, trying to turn the corner. And what we end up with is a mirror from the attackman again and we're left with a lot of space in this alleyway to 
try to draw slides and hit the players who are spread across the top of the field. So after you pass the ball forward, you can easily dodge the score there, and you're also left with this fade player who's in a great spot to step down as well as receive a pass and dodge again. Now, after all of this movement, one of the benefits of this offense is the fact that we're put back into the exact same place that we were in. Basically, as this Dodger comes down and moves the ball, he now becomes the wing player up here. Whoever mirrored up is the top center player. The fade is the backside player. And the cut the middle is now the crease player. So now we have all of these same elements in the same spots in our group of four. Now the attack, they're just gonna continue to mirror each other, clear through to get out of the way, but it really lets us flow with our motion. So in this video, you'll see the opposing offense doing a really good job of just flowing out of the offense. You'll see the attackmen mirroring, you're gonna see the midfielders dodging, the mirror, all of those things. The one thing that's different from what I just described to the offense that you're about to see is the fact that these players actually tried to stay where they were. So after he mirrored out, he kind of came back as the ball swings around the offense. The player who cut the middle stayed inside, the player who faded stayed out here, and you actually get three consecutive dodges with this player here, and he ends up scoring on his third dodge. So the purpose of this video is to show you guys how the offense can flow. So here we get a good dodge, mirror, fade, and cut the middle. A second dodge up the righty hash. Pass, pass, another dodger reset. And now what you'll notice is that this player number six who's backside, he's gonna stay in this position the whole time. Pass forward to number six, another dodger got ready. Now he's dodging down the alley. The two other players up top are mirroring, staying inside. Another dodge from the attackman. Pass, pass, and now as this dodge goes down the alley, he's gonna take a nice shot. Now as the players are resetting, they're gonna get a final dodge down that alley, and this time they're gonna score because there was no slide. So redirects to pass to the Dodger. Dodger dodges down the alley and scores. Now the final thing we're gonna cover is the sweep option, which is exactly the same for every player who is off ball. We're gonna show you some Duke video of how they were running it. Now they were running the same pattern, but they weren't trying to find the same looks. So we're gonna go over two parts of their offense. The first is just a regular sweep. The second is where they try to actually up pick into this set. So the first one on the sweep, as this player comes through, makes his move, comes over the top, same basic idea, top center is going to fade, backside is going to clear through to the middle or cut the middle, and the crease player is going to mirror. The attackmen in this Duke set, they don't actually rotate, they're just going to sit on both pipes, and that's because they were trying to press something a little bit different that's a lot more high end than something that our high school team would be able to run. So here they're setting it up, this player will pass it and go to the crease. Now redirect right back. Now as he takes his dodge, notice that we're getting a fade, cut the middle, and a mirror. The final little wrinkle with the Duke offense is that they were starting to throw up picks here where if the player used the pick, he would still mirror to the top, and if he decided to sweep over using the pick, he would mirror the other way. So it was basically getting into the same set, but they were using an up pick in order to get into that set. Watch how the player who's on the crease is gonna come up, act like he's setting a pick. They roll off of it and they don't actually use the pick, but it'll just add another element to our Q's offense. Now we have the same basic idea where the player's gonna come up and act like he's gonna pick. This time the Dodger goes down the alley, and as he goes down the alley, they get a slide, a throwback, and now he finds the cut the middle in the middle for a nice easy dunk. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments section. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to support Palax in making these videos, you can do that at patreon.com slash Palax. Definitely check out Palax and PalaxMasterCoach.com on Facebook and Instagram. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video.